Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? Yeah, Welcome yeah. to the Quick Fix. I'm Crazy Bone. I'm Keith G. And I'm Lottie B. Yes, and it is Tuesday, June 16th, 14th, my bad, 2016. Yes, indeed. And everybody watching that footage, yeah, we intro yeah. the show with today because, you know, yeah, yeah. since the tragedy happened really though. in Orlando, yeah. like, very, very senseless tragedy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. It was crazy because I happened to be in Orlando when it happened. Mm hmm. When both incidents happened, you know, the one with uh, Christina. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I was, I was there, you know what I'm saying? So it was like, it was, it was crazy because I was there like when it, when it all took place. So. Yeah, so it what, happened two miles <coughs> away from each other. What was the atmosphere of the town, you know what I'm saying? Because you was at the airport too, you know, amongst people, were people near to fly or were they thinking, you know what I'm saying? Or is it going to happen here too? Or is it something that spread out or, or further in just a simulated, uh, you know what I'm saying, incident? I mean, I, I mean, it was, it was, uh, I mean, I mean, the airport scene was like, you know, like, it was, you know, of course security was, you know, uh, high. Right. You know, because it was labeled like, you know, terrorist, so, of course it was high, but, um, man, it was just, it's, it's just crazy, man, like, you know, like, when you, when you sit back and think about, like, what actually happened, it's just like, It's wow. crazy. It's that was, wild. that was horrible, that was, to be killed that way was just, and even the ones yeah. who live are forever... That has impacted them for the rest of their lives. They will always feel, you know, remember the gunshots, and you hear all the witnesses and what they say, and it's just like, oh, it's just so heartbreaking. It's horrible. Yeah. And then, oh, all the stories and having to go through that and be in that type of trauma, that's just, even the doctors, you know, how they felt trying to help all these people that were coming by the dozens with these gunshot wounds and... And, it's just, and, and even to make it even more interesting too with it, you know, and it's it's weird how it does play out, you know, it, it's not just as society will call regular victims, but you know what I'm saying, victims and you know, singled out victims who are a community of victims. You know what I'm saying? If you mm -hmm. if you put it like that, you know what I'm saying? So it seems like, you know, this is a terrorist threat against a community, you know, is the way that they feel, like the a gay and lesbian community. They kind of feel that kind of way right and, now, you know. And what's crazy is that it's coming out that the guy had been going to this gay club for three years. Yeah, that's what I heard. That's what I for heard. For three years, he had he had got on a da gay dating website. Mm -hmm. He had dated some of these men. He had party with some of these men. He had had drinks with some of these men. That's crazy. I think he hated himself Could for be because right. maybe he his religion, what he was taught, or whatever. Maybe right. he really. You know, had hate for what he liked. And I mean, that could be that's that because that's that some slaughter true. stuff that he went in there and did. That was that true, and yeah. he knew that club. You've been going there for three years. You know that club. That's yeah. crazy. I mean, just yeah. straight senseless too. So of course, all of from the quick fix, you know, out here, all condolences yeah. goes out to Orlando and all the like the parents, the the, the, the wives, the, whoever it is out there. You know, what I'm saying they yeah. loved them the most. You know, I know you don't understand anything of what's going on. I know you want to just blame God and things like this for what's going on, too. We'll get into things like that, too, you know what Yeah, I'm saying? definitely, uh, you know. Like, trying to understand like, things, too, you know. Like, no matter, you know what I'm saying, like, no matter what people was into or what they, what they lives yeah. was, you know, like, these, these, these was human lives. Human so. beings, you know what I'm saying? And, and like, no other human, like... Well, actually, you know what? I'm seeing a lot, um, and I hate to say this, but I'm seeing a lot of people that used to be so against, you know, a lifestyle, I'm seeing them have compassion now and feel bad, like, because no one deserves that at all. So if, if I see people that maybe had opinion opinions about the gay lifestyle are saying, like, that's wrong, I shouldn't have felt that way because now look at what happened and look at what they're going through because yeah. of us being ignorant, you know what I mean? Yeah, and, and you so. know, it, it was actually, you know, um, a, a, a TV personality who was actually saying, you know, things that is fueled from... Uh, the, the, the mass media. He even mentioned Donald Trump too. You know, as, as one of the persons who was, you know, speaking against. I knew things he was like going to have a field day with this. Yeah, he speaking against wait. things like that. So kind of, he says he even quoted. He said that they didn't, they didn't pull the trigger, but they put the bullets inside the gun by making you know homosexuals feel, making people feel like you know what well, this is something to rid of society. So some people do take they cause on like that and they will go into clubs or wherever they feel they're at. They do the same things with, you know, Jewish people and the same things with, you know, blacks or yeah. whatever whatever they feel like they're standing for a cause or what they believe in it for, they're gonna go and do those things. You know Yeah, that's real. And social media, um, is so real. I mean, now on social media I think there were so many videos posted Yes. Oh, yes. Of inside the club. Yeah. Like it was one, traumatizing. One that's just it's just like really like 
and my and my daughter was the first one that gave it to me. She was like, "Did you see the video that was of the Snapchat that was inside the club?" I was like, "What?" I was like, "Wow!" So I, and, and then I was thinking, I was like, "You would expect somebody had a yeah. you would expect somebody to have a video because these days, like we yeah. everywhere everywhere you go, you Snapchat yeah. and you like you capture it in the moment. You right. know what I'm saying? So of course you would have video, and this video happened to be her last her last Snapchat. Which is like crazy. Which is crazy. crazy. So you got the clip? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. We get it's crazy. <clears throat> Gosh. Yeah, no. Yeah, so that's that's that. Man, now you know a lot of people said that they thought the song. Yeah. yeah at yeah. first, they thought the gunshots was in the song until it was like, no, these, and oh, that's crazy. That's such a. You see how packed that club was? Mm, it mean, was small and packed. They said. Yeah, that was the least thought on their mind was something like that was going to happen. No, know, that, that must. Like the most thing that you would see, like like Craig say, you know. Uh, bro, you never know, think that in a bro. Come no. On. When you in a club, just think how many times you've been in a club fun. and you just loose. You just like. Yeah. You just ain't thinking about nothing. You just you having just, a ball. You just kicking it. Yeah. You know what that's, how, that's what I'm you're saying. Doing what you, that's what painted some of the picture inside there. We went inside there, but that's how one, a couple of people only Snapchatted or Periscope or did what they did from there because that's how much terror took over in there. They were seeing something that they only was used to seeing on television. That's very true. There. And, and it was one. It was one um, radio interview. I don't know why it was yanked from um, whatever stations and things like that. But it was saying that there was another guy inside there that was holding the doors closed. And on this interview, particular one, when um, the uh, the person was giving his testimony about that, it was a live feed, and that live feed was yanked. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you know about that one inside the book. No, it was yanked. So that I was never, a, <coughs> I didn't hear that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah I listened I to that. I woke up this morning, listened to that. There was a, that's there, crazy. He was giving a testimony. He said, "Yeah, we was trying to get out of back from the stars, and then we were going towards the doors, and there was a, another person right there making sure that the doors were closed and trying to uh, prevent people from getting out of the, uh, out of the club." So I don't know if uh, the mass media were hiding another person who was, you know, a second assailant. You know what I'm saying? Because they like to say it's a lone person. He was just crazy and blah. You know, they tell America anything, and we're going to go for it, too. You know what I'm saying? But that's, a, you know, another situation. Yeah, bro, it, it, it was just like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, like this, man, you hear about this. It's, a, it's, it's just like, y'all, is this for real? Like, yeah, yeah man. this is crazy. And everyone <laughs> but, is coming out and giving their stories and talking about what happened. And one guy said he was in the stall and he came with the gun and just started shooting inside of the stall. Like, could you imagine? Oh, yeah. He said it was like 16 yeah. people on top of him. You get that? That's crazy. You got that on the next clip right there with, with exactly what you That's crazy. Saying. Like, I just... And just imagine this, though. Like, for real. I just wonder, like...
can't. It's like to have to go through that. I just, I just pray. I just, you know, I just pray for God to help them because even living with that, you know what I mean? Like, wow, that's yeah. that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, man, it, it, it's 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 crazy. Just the thoughts of it's crazy. Like, I feel for it, them. It ain't, it ain't even really no word. I mean, like you know what I'm saying. Let me say this. Like, it's like okay. I understand, like, you feel a certain kind of way. I feel a certain kind of way. Yeah. Right? You know what I'm saying? But that don't mean you take it upon yourself to think you is, like, uh, executing some kind of justice. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, I mean, like... Actually, judge and execution. Yeah, right. judge and execution. You know what I'm saying? When you take it up in, into your own hands like that, and nobody told you to... Because what part of... Okay, I understand, like, you're, you're say you're doing what God wants to... Want you to do, but what about the part he said you're not supposed to do that? Yeah, like because he said that too. Like he said, leave it up to him. Like yeah. so, I mean, vengeance is mine is actually actually good. Right, right, exactly. You should respect that just as much just as much as you respect you know yeah, like the, the other thing. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Like for real. Like when exactly. and, and, and he even said, you know, it ain't it ain't it ain't really your fight. Vengeance belongs to me. Like I, I got this. Yeah, you don't when do it's that. time to handle whatever I gotta handle. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna take care of that. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. Like, so that's no, that's up to no human to decide. But this is just and like what just what Keith always says, and you have to think of it because me, you, <coughs> we can't imagine walking into a club and doing what he did. Like you can't fathom that. Like a, the normal brain, that's it's unfathomable. It's like I can't do that. But to evil and that's to right. someone who thinks this way, they can they can a picture doing that actually executed you know he even tried to get some armor to cover him and i don't know how he got an assault rifle what is it they say it shoots it like a, what it was a, it, he had an ar-15 so what does that shoot because everyone can ar-15 it just shoots and it's it's see but it's it like is it like 70 what? rounds no, in a minute you can get you can get, you can get as, you can get as many you can get a hundred round drum if you want to for that they have like wow. uh, they have um, altered ones that you can get you know, different altered uh different things is, how 100 and 200 how long does it drum. shoot for i'm saying a hundred and two hundred round gun, gun clip so as many as you want to go inside of us per second but and wow. you got another drum that can put, put you know another hundred rounds inside they got double clips on each side. So these saying? were made for war, of course, not these for things, this. That's what I'm saying. The NRA, the National Rifle Association, mm -hmm. they, they present these guns to the masses. And they present these guns, and, you know, we all say them in the rhymes or whatever it is, or, or you know, this is the that gun. And yeah, it, yeah. These guns aren't for hunting, is what I'm trying no, to say. No, not at all. So I can feel guns. I'm not saying don't have no right with no guns, but these guns are made for weapons. These are weapons of mass destruction. You don't need that. You know what I'm saying? This, when it goes into, these bullets particularly, when they go into the flesh, they're meant to not, like, if you can't hit no animal with it, it's going to tear the flesh and, you know, make the whole meat hard. You know what That's I'm what I said, Keith. I said they wasn't hunting with these. Yes, these were right. meant for the war. These were meant for, to, exactly like you said, destruction. Yeah, so you uh, the, hu the normal person protecting themselves does not need, they shouldn't be able to buy them, especially not being on the terror watch list. I don't well, understand you know, that well, part. Yeah. But. It, it, they, they, they present the most laws to me. The most laws are presented for the people to mess with the people, and the people that are going to do the terrorist things anyway, they're going, like we always say, they're going through a whole nother door. Like, we're going to go to the airport, we got to take our shoes off and do all the whole rigmarole. I'm not against that because they want to make it safe to get in. But I'm the tell people you. who are blowing up stuff, they're not going through that line right there. They're going, they're paid people with a briefcase of money or whatever it is they do, and they're going through a whole nother back door. But listen, like the I'm going to just... just I'm gonna just I'm gonna just tell you like this. Just like we talking right now and we're confused about everything that's going on, the people that's making the laws and the people that they they, they sitting back doing the same thing. Yeah. There is no way you can stop it, bro. I mean, it's impossible. Right. It's impossible to stop. Like because when when you when you get people just isolated and do stuff like this, I mean everybody talking yeah. everybody talking about, well, why didn't the FBI catch him? Why well, that's why. Why do you think it's a such thing as serial killers that don't get caught for a long time? Because they plan it. They plan what they doing out. Yeah. Yeah, like, but you but and they don't they don't catch them all the time right away. But I think it's the, the same FBI as a terrorist. The ball. And it's the same as a terrorist just being slick and, 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 and just being slick about the way he moving. I think, like, I think you're one hundred percent right. I mean, right. he could be, bro. I think you're one hundred percent right. It's a such right. thing as being slick. Evil, evil. When evil's in concert, it works real good. <clears throat> concert means everything. Like going for on, real. Right? The PA system, everything, the sound, the crowd, everything's going on. They in unison. So when evil's in unison right now, and they doing things like this, some of these people don't even know what they're doing. They're just, you know what I'm saying? They vessels that's being just 
preyed upon too, and they acted out these terrorist acts, and they don't even know what they're doing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Some may be connected, some may not be, but evil is one that wants to make you know, I'm not right here, or even I don't even exist. That's just what they're talking about, man. they always saying, blame it on, put the dude in the psych ward. So, you know what I'm saying? Because if they caught him or keep him alive, they'll put him in the psych ward, give him drugs, shoot him up, and, you know what I'm saying, the rest of the kind of things like that. This ain't treatable thing. They know, I'll be brief after this and I'll be quiet. But Jesus <laughs> ran up on the cat. Look, I'm going to tell y'all some real things. After we go to this thing, but Jesus ran up on the cat, you know what I'm saying, and nobody wanted to mess with the dude. His name was Legion because he was so full of demons. You know who he is, that the face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? When Jesus built up on him, he was like, you know, what you doing, your son of God? This and that. But to get to the point of the story, after he, uh, you know what I'm saying, was like, you know, let the demons go out into the pigs and they ran over the thing. Dude was straight. Dude wasn't. Now, this world would deem him as psychologically unfit, you know what I'm saying, and put him in a rubber room. But that dude needed some prayer. He needed somebody to be down yeah. with him, you know what I'm saying? This world is on schedule for what it's promoting. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's they don't true. want to promote nothing of God. They took it out of the school. They yeah. did it like this. So it's like, hey, look, world. I want y'all to be with me, but your own destruction is a demise yeah. of your decay of who I really am. And just so I understand what you, I understand, but but see, we that's why we gotta we gotta have more segments like this so we can break it down. Cause like that's honestly, true. I understand exactly what you're saying yeah. to a lot of people. It's foreign. It, it really I, is. It does sound like Chinese language. No lie. I understand that, but too. it's real, and it's stuff people need to know. Like and people real. are in denial. I think we just don't want to face it. We just don't want to see it. It's like, oh my goodness, this is yeah, man. I mean, like. What's happening today, bottom line, we're going to take a break, like, but what's happening today is like, it's full proof, man. It's like, I don't, I don't care what nobody says. <laughs> youngs, just, youngs just need to wake up. Yeah. yeah. Old people need to wake up. Everybody need to wake up. Oh, like, yeah. Man. Oh, yeah. For real. We're seeing things that we haven't, that we only thought we see in those <clears throat> movies. The, see, for real. A lot of the people, in the, you know, we can get the movie shootings no. that happen, you know what I'm saying? Rest in peace to the people that happen to them. The, 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 child, oh, yeah. the, the school shootings, they don't think things can happen like that. Yeah. Only. You know what I'm saying? It's a somebody on here, somebody on here, just said it's too late to fix it. You, and you're right. They're absolutely right. And you're right for 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 a man to fix it. For it's man, way yes, too late. Yes, yes. It's way too late for man to fix it. Yes. It was way too late, way a long time ago for man to fix it. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's so in it's, it's in mo it's it, it is in rotation now. To look for peace here. For for real. Real. But yeah, that's you, because you, people you know, are too much lovers of themselves. Of people are lovers of self. Like, for us to fix yeah. it, we would have to be lovers of, of our neighbor. We'd have to care about yourself before yeah. I care about myself. We ain't going to do that nowadays. Yeah, right? Yeah, because they taught us something different. They taught now us it's love yourself and put yourself first. Check it out, y'all. We're going to get into the, we're going to finish this conversation when we come back. We're going to take a real quick break, and we will be back. Y'all watching The Quick Fix. I am Crazy Bone. Bum Keep G. And I'm Lottie B. If you want to chime in, hit us up, man. 855-878-4652. We chilling, man. Smoke on this conversation. Quick Fix. I'm about to go fix it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. butter, man. Yeah. 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 That's butter. Hey, man. That, yo, that shit ain't. <laughs> hey, you know, don't want to do that. I didn't hear that uh, testimony before. Which one? I'm trying to think. The one about the dude up in there trying to get dragged by the police and stuff through the glass and all that. I mean, neither, man. God, this nigga said he was. Nothing, really. He basically said his. <laughs> he said it was on my butt. Ass. My ass. I mean, <laughs> we in the bathroom. Oh, shit. We in the bathroom stuff, but. Wow. You sound real good. What is the payment for sense. what is the payment for, sense, What what is the payment for punishment though sometimes? Yeah. What we would think for ourselves like to me what if I'm like let's think you, you got your things off? Could you hear me? Yeah. Say say we say 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 like this. I'm gonna ask him like this. Hold say, on, wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay. So oh, look yeah, after this, um let me go back let me go go back go right back in. Do you want that video that you said for a segment too? Or do you want a different Yeah, 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 yeah. The, yeah, the one for segment two, come right in with that one. Okay, all right. Cool. Yeah. And uh, do you still want to play any of the other Orlando ones? Or? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, we'll have them if, if you... Okay, yeah. Yeah, cool, I got you. So like a uh, like heterosexual man, and we in a strip club, and we banging a gang of hoes. Oh, and crazy. Uh, sorry, one more thing. You, you have a call. I don't know if you want to take it. It's salvation. Um, but yeah, if you want to, just let me know. Okay, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll do that too. Call her out. Yeah, we, uh, we, uh, uh, What's happening, yo? We say we regular dudes, we in the club, we banging hoes, we doing all that stuff, we in the club chilling like, ah, mass murder, come in there and do his thing, you know what I'm saying? Some people may say, well, niggas, y'all living that lifestyle, and y'all got killed in there doing that lifestyle, y'all was in there doing it, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm saying that's something to, that's a, that's something that people are still talking about, too. So if there's, there's a mass of people who think that they got what, I don't think that, but there's a mass of people who think that they got what. We can talk about are, that. You know what I'm saying? Let's talk about it! So I kind of want to... 
Yeah, both sides. Yeah, yeah. What's yeah, happening, y'all? Yeah. Yeah, dude said he, yeah, yeah. So it's crazy. What's happening? Yeah, oh, wow. Y'all get, y'all having serious conversation over here. <laughs> right, man. I hope it's a real debate going on. What's hey, happening? I got a chance to pee real quick, right? What's going on, y'all? What's happening with it? Keith? Y'all is on here wild. Keith said I should have told you to take my penis with you so I could have, you could have peed for me. What kind of oh, shit is that? I wish that was a luxury we had. He is so stupid. Just say it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, so we want to. I want to get into like what what a lot of other people are saying because you know there's always two sides and right. everybody has a pain. So there are some people out there saying that you know what I'm saying like they feel that these people and this is very bold. Mm -hmm. They say they feel that these people get what they deserve because. Because of where they were and what they were doing. I've heard that a lot all yeah. over social yeah. media. Yeah. The same type of thing too, right? Oh yeah, yeah. People, people have strong opinions. What you think and, about uh, and against uh, it, I that think you that would be shocked. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, and it's causing people to not sympathize. Like people have these. Yes, yes, they do. They have these opinions. Yeah, I know. Definitely. I think that. I think that. Honestly, I think that if you feel that way, then you need to get on your knees and you need to talk to whoever you feel is a person or the or the entity or whatever you love and let them take that hate out your heart because for you to feel that anybody, I don't care what you do, should be gunned down and massacred like that and brutalized like that as a human being, that's not cool. I don't care. And, and, and trust me, y'all, y'all already know me. I'm very opinionated and y'all already know. Right, right. But I would never in my life say I want to see this this amount of people sit in that room and get shot up. I would never in my life feel like that's okay. Never. Yeah, really. Ever. And that's for real though, you know, America's crazy. I don't know I ain't on no bash about America, but it's just the way, you know what I'm saying, our society is. You know what I'm saying? We are kinda we built on barbaric things anyways, you know what I'm saying? It's 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 easy for people to be numb about things that they don't know about. Like, you know, for instance if if it's a a murderer or whatever it is, any kind of murderer and he goes to gas chamber, we say, I'm happy he got what he got. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, On a small scale. Right, I know that's just one person right. and maybe he looked like he to a to a regular person it may like look like that rapist got what he deserved. True. But what kind of spirit is we supposed to have to say, I hope he dies or I hope he lives a death like that? You know what I'm saying? That's true. That's nothing that none of us should take into our own hands. I, I mean I, I mean and, and, and even saying that, like, you know, like and like in these days and times we live in, like I mean, 
we're going to feel like that. But it's best. But it's best to like try not to feel like yes, that. Yes, exactly. Yeah, because because like, unlearn that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because like I mean, like, because in these days and times we live in, like I mean, like it's if somebody if somebody did something to your family member, brother, like yes, yes. Like I see these dudes like with, with, when you be in court, like if somebody like like killed your daughter or something like that, and these dudes be jumping over the thing, trying, yes. But I be saying to myself. That would be me. Me too. Yeah. Because I'm not happy with this yeah. dude going to prison. I'm not. I'm not happy with that. Like, yeah. I gotta. I gotta touch this dude like in a major way, for real. Right. For real. And I'm coming prepared. If I gotta jump over the bench, <laughs> they gonna give me off here that quick. And if they do, I'm gonna be able to do the damage to you before they get, give me off of you. For real, I'm telling you. And just, for real. And, and just the way that you know people looking at it. But that's right. how you feel, though. For real. It, it is how it is. Shit, hell, you, you feel exactly like that. The same in yeah. the same instant. You know, for but real. For them, for, for like as far as the community, as they saying, you know what I'm saying, homosexual community or whatever it is, you know, like we're talking about a lot of people think that they uh, deserve this and stuff like that. Their sin just happens to show, like we always say, you know what I'm saying, the things that we, we may be able to do, things that we masquerade and be able to hide and stuff like that. God is not just, they ain't the only people. That's who are saying. doing something wrong is yeah. what I'm saying. So judgment ain't just coming on them only right. and like we ain't doing that and this and that. Can we doing Talk to what, me, no, what I want, what I want you to do is, that I want you to give the number out because, like, y'all on here on Periscope, y'all got some, y'all, y'all saying some, y'all expressing some real strong views. Y'all should call up, oh yeah, and get on there with this because, like, I got the felt telephone number for you. It's eight five five eight seven eight four six five deuce. You know what I'm saying? But in regular people, eight five five eight seven eight four six five two. You got somebody on the line now. We got somebody on the line right now. Hey, regular you people. Know hey, Carla, you know what I'm saying? Call up. Carla, what's your name and where you from? You're getting your fix on. What's happening? Hello. 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 